A bold robbery at a mountain fast food restaurant is captured on camera. News 13's Rex Hodge joins us from the Western News Center. And Rex, what's on the tape that could help investigators make an arrest? Well, the suspects, uh, you see the suspect in action in Canton. There's a good shot of his face, and uh, he's got a tattoo. Police are asking the public to take a good look. From the surveillance tape taken June 30th at the Canton McDonald's on Champion Drive, detectives can see the employee coming in and placing her purse in a corner. Around midnight, they say this man scoped out her bag, staying on the phone a long time, then making his move, swiping her wallet from her purse. Most crimes are, you know, from opportunity. Detective Brad Shirley says the employee realized she'd been robbed when her shift ended around 3 a.m. Subsequently, used her checkbook and credit card at several locations in Waynesville, Nashville. She notified her bank. They told her the card had been used in um, the Travel America. We don't have much of it around here. Residents say this type of thing is unusual in Canton. I don't think we've ha ever had this happen in a long time in our town. I've been here since 57, so. I think it's because of the economy. I think people are getting desperate and they'll do anything. With few leads, investigators are looking to the videotape. Well, I think that'll be a big help. Especially since the camera captures his face and more. The, the biggest um, the identifying feature we, we saw was the tattoo on the back of his calf. Kind of looks like a cross. Between the picture and the uh, tattoo, I think we'll have a pretty easy time identifying it. On Main Street, they're taking note. Somebody will know who he is. If you do something you're not supposed to, then you get caught and you have to pay for it. Some lessons also. Keep your uh, purses um, well hidden and secured. Hope they find them. And if you have any information, contact the Canton Police Department. Reporting live tonight from the Western News Center, Rex Hodge, News 13.